hello friends you're welcome back to my channel today is tuesday transfer tuesday we already in april and today is the second day the time is going it's going so fast so if you are doing something and you haven't look at it please go do <laughs> we are already in the second quarter of the year what have you been doing i've been been looking at your debt have you been looking at your consumer debt, your student loan? Beginning of the year, did you tell yourself that you were going to tackle that debt? This is the time to do so. On transfer today, I look at my student loan to see how far I am. So keep watching. Hi, 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 hello, hello. This is your girl Josie again. To all my new subscribers, thank you so much. My OG, you guys know I love you guys so much. Today is another video. Thanks for being part of my friend. I really appreciate everybody clicking on my video, watching, telling people about my video. Thank you so much. Today is Transfer Tuesday. You guys know what I do on Transfer Tuesday. I look at my debt. So today, my debt, the only one I have so far is my student loan. But I did got another debt, which we own the IRX from our taxes, which I'm going to talk about it on Thursday. I'm going to do a video and talk about how we're going to tackle that debt. So don't forget to watch my video on Thursday. Yes, we did own IRX a lot. Every year we kind of own a little bit, but this year is worse. And I will explain to you the reason why it's like that. Okay, so today I want to update from March, how much we paid and how far we are. Then I will do April. So let's go ahead and do the March one first. I hope you guys can see. So in March, we started with 56,228. In the first week, I did pay 270. So 270 does 79. Second week, I paid 97 dot 26. Third week, I paid 200. 17 then the last week i pay 100 the 102 so the payment that we made throughout the whole month of march was so total payment was 668.24 so that's how much we paid. We end up ending balance of 55,830. So that's how much we end up with. But as of now, it's kind of different, which I'm going to show you guys. So we started with 56,228. We end up 55,830. Like, I, if you can see, it should have gone down more, but most of the money are going into interest. As I always tell you guys, the interest is killing me. I don't know what to do about it, but I just have to keep on paying and paying extra so that the principal will go down. So it kind of went down just a little bit. So now let's go ahead and do the update for for April. So I'll leave this one here. Okay. And this is the April one. So April one in my notes, I want to go ahead and write my student loan. That's the loan I have. So in 2022, I started with $93,609.63. Twenty twenty two that that's when I started updating my student loan debt. 
that was the only debt i started with because i've already paid consumer debt and all that a lot of student loan i have already paid in 2023 we started with 74,000. in 2024 we started with 70 57,421 10 cent okay so for previous month so we are dealing with april 2024 so for march i'm supposed to end with 55,830. but when i check my balance today today my balance as of now was balance now was 55,995 four cent that's the balance now we end up with percentage to debt free to be 40.35 percent my monthly payment as of now monthly minimum payment as of this month is 539.14 so every month this is the amount i have to pay as the minimum payment so anything more than this go towards my principal but some of these is calculated as interest they project the interest but the interest is being calculated almost every day that's why you see the numbers being going up and down. That's why you see the numbers going up and down every week. So let's start the first week with the amount that we are starting with. So starting amount for this week, starting balance is 55,905.4. So this week for all my payment from the payment I have to pay this month was 188.12%. No, the payment I have to make for this month of April because I've been paying for this month is due is $188.12. Then, so $188.12. That's how much I is due for me for this month month april 3rd my payment is due on the third of every month then i'm going to pay 106 92. so the payment i'm making right now is 295 four cent the reason why I, I normally do the math so that I will pay the cent out of it. It just makes me feel good that I'm running up. I'm paying the cent off faster. <laughs> so that's why I do. But the amount, the 106 is from my $20 that I pay every month and also extra money that I'm paying. Because normally I'll check my account to see if I have any money that I can put towards the debt. So that's all those amounts. That's so today we are putting towards 295 four cent. So the balance now, if I subtract, is gonna be so five five nine nine five dot o four minus two nine five dot o four. So as of now, we are 55,700. That's how much we have as of now. But you realize that for next week when I'm doing the update, this amount will go up because the interest is being added almost every day. Then my percentage to that free will be divided by
40.50%. So that's the percentage to that free. So it went up a little bit because we started the month, we ended the month of April with 40.35. So we are at 40.50 okay so if i should set a goal for myself for this month i will i want to get down to 55 that 555 000, and i want my percentage to get to at least 41 percent which will be it will be achievable reasonable achievable achievable goal mm -hmm. like i said we sh i should have gotten more money to put towards the loan but we do own IRX, which I'm going to do a video to explain. So my money is kind of limited to put towards the debt. Because for the second quarter, we were doing everything possible just to put a lot of money towards the student loan. But it didn't go as planned. We have to make sure we pay IRS first before we do anything. So make sure you watch that video on Thursday. I'm tr I'll try and explain how what happened and what what is going on that a lot of people don't know i think okay so that's how much we we ended up with fifty five thousand seven hundred percentage wise forty point five zero percent i hope everybody is doing very well today our code was old ways won't open new doors that's really true if you agree with me leave it in the comment below if you agree that old ways won't open new doors leave in the comment below i i believe it's true there are there are a lot of changes when the changes come you have to change you don't have to change to be bad but you have to change to be best and good yes so old ways won't open new doors if you want to lose weight you want to go out of debt and you are still sitting there not looking at if you want to lose weight and you're still sitting there eating the same thing that you've been eating you've not been exercising you won't lose the weight if you want to go out of debt and you are looking at your debt and you are not paying extra you will still be stuck because interest are piling on the debt so old ways won't open new doors <laughs> so i believe in that so thanks for watching me today I really appreciate everybody joining me this Transfer Tuesday. I will see you in my next video. I hope you are doing very well. Bye-bye-bye.